So the question is, is it worth it? Am I happy with the results of the laser? Uh, if to be honest, how's it going boys? In today's video, I wanna share with you my personal experience with laser hair removal. I think I'm one of the most experienced people in the world with laser hair removal. I've been doing that for over 15 years. I think I started when I was 17 years old. Now I'm 32 years old. So. As you can see, it's not a process that you just like do and forget about it. However, I'm gonna break it down to you because again, it really depends on the kind of laser that you're using or if it's actually laser. And it also depends on the area where you're doing the laser. And anyways, if you like such videos, I'd really appreciate it if you leave it a thumbs up. And also if you're interested in such videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. Okay, so I started doing laser hair removal when laser was not even cool. I was really conscious about my hairy body. I was extremely hairy, extremely hairy, beyond imagination. Like you could barely see the skin from how hairy I was. I had hair all over on my arms, my back, my neck, my chest, legs everywhere. And so it was very uncomfortable for me, especially in the locker room, in school. And uh, I thought that girls wouldn't like me due to the fact of how hairy I was. And there is, some sort of truth to that. However, a lot of the girls don't really care about chest hair, but back hair can be a turnoff for a lot of the girls. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into that now. It's something that you have to decide for yourself whether you wanna keep the hair on your body or not. So I started with the crappiest machines ever, the machines that would actually like open up the laser and they will literally like fry you alive. Like I would scream from pain. It was extremely painful when I first started. The machines were not that advanced. I don't think they had like a proper cooling system in them. And it was very difficult for me to actually kind of go and get the procedure done. Even though I had like some numbing creams, uh, it was still extremely painful. Like imagine yourself being burned alive. Uh, obviously the procedure has improved over the years, uh, but it is still kind of painful depending on the area where you do it. So even though it was extremely painful, I decided to continue doing this procedure because I really hated how hairy I was. I was also training, working out at the gym and I wanted my muscles to show. So I wanted to get rid of all this hair. I did try waxing and shaving in the past and I had horrible acne uh, reaction from those procedures. So laser was the only way in my opinion to get rid of the hair with kind of minimal side effects. So the laser hair removal that I actually started with was not actual laser, was like light pulsation. It's called the IPL. It's not as effective as the diode or whatever you wanna call it, the other method, the actual laser hair removal, but is the most common and it's the cheapest and actual laser was not really a thing back then. So the effectiveness of that machine, the IPL thing, was not really that great. Uh, even though I did it for many, many years, I was still hairy, in fact, I am still sort of hairy, like I'm nowhere near what I was before, but I still have hair on my back and I'm still lasering to this day, but I'm gonna get into that later on. So the IPL that I was doing was not really giving me great results. So if you're gonna do laser, I'd highly recommend you try to go to the diode kind of route. If you wanna go to the IPL route, there are some machines that are very effective nowadays, but you really have to know how to pick those machines. There's a machine that I'm probably gonna put a photo of it on this video. The cool thing about this machine is that it will pulsate three times on the same area with three different strengths of light. And on top of that, the head of the machine is actually quite big, so you can cover a bigger area much, much faster. I've seen really good success with this kind of IPL machine. However, the traditional IPL machine is not really as effective or wasn't as effective on my body as this, I don't know, advanced Russian machine. Okay, so let me tell you what you can expect from the laser treatment. First of all, if your skin is slightly tanned, it's gonna be less effective. So on my body, on places where I did not expose to the sun, for example, my dick and balls and my armpits, the effectiveness of the procedure was much more noticeable, much more effective. I barely have any hairs on my armpit. 
I still have hair on my dick. I don't know why, especially my balls, but the results were much, much better and much faster than doing it, for example, on my chest or on my arms or on my back because those areas were exposed more to the sun. So if you're gonna do this procedure, I highly recommend you to like stay away from the sun. Uh, do it on areas where you're not tanned because it's gonna be more effective. Now, how many times do you actually need to do the laser hair removal? Again, it's something that depends on your genetics, on your skin color, on how hairy you are. I know some people that did just 10 procedures and they were happy with the results. They were not getting much hair in that area anymore. And I know people like myself who's been doing laser hair removal for the past 15 years, uh, obviously on and off, but I've done it at least 100 times, I would say, and I'm still getting hair. Obviously, it's improving, but the improvement is kind of slow. The biggest improvement was at the beginning, and now I'm left with like very thin hairs, that light hairs that are really difficult to kind of target, and therefore they're less likely to disappear from the laser hair removal. So when you get into that, keep in mind that some areas you might need to keep lasering, However, in my opinion, since now laser is becoming like more affordable, it's a much better option than say waxing or shaving because waxing or shaving is something you have to do every couple of weeks to a month. Compared to laser, you can do it once every two to three months depending how hairy you are. So it's a procedure that you just do once and then you can basically forget about the hair in that area until it starts coming back. Now let's talk about pain because it's something that is really important. I'm gonna tell you how you can deal with it in the best possible way. So the pain varies between area to area. Okay, so the most painful area on my body is probably the neck. So I tried lasering the neck and keyword here is I tried because I couldn't tolerate the pain. This is how painful it was. You actually feel how the laser is actually hitting every root of the hairs on your neck and your neck is a very, very sensitive and delicate area. So you're gonna be crying from pain and it doesn't matter what I did, even though I used numbing creams like Emla, I still felt a lot of pain on my neck and after that you're gonna have acne, again, depending on how thick your beard is. My beard is extremely thick, so doing laser on the neck was like very difficult. I stopped doing that lately. The second most painful area is gonna be your dick and balls and asshole if you're gonna do that as well. So again, to minimize the pain there, you can put some Emla and I found that putting Emla on those areas will actually decrease the pain significantly. Also make sure that you are shaved properly because the way the laser works is it's trying to hit the dark root of the hair. Now, if the hair is not short enough, then it's gonna hit the hair itself. And the hair is outside your skin and it's gonna burn the hair and it's gonna burn your skin as well. So make sure you shave the areas where you're gonna make the laser properly. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of pain. So the question is, is it worth it? Am I happy with the results of the laser? Uh, if to be honest, I prefer doing laser I look at it as a form of epilation. Maybe it's not like permanent, but it's much better than shaving your body, especially here in Ukraine. It's very affordable. It's like 40, 50 bucks for the whole upper body. So I can walk in, do it in an hour or so, and then I'm gonna have like a sort of a soft upper body instead of having to shave my back all the time or shave my armpits or my dick or whatever. So, if you look at it in that way, then I think it's worth it. I don't know how much it costs where you are living. I know some places it's extremely expensive. Like I was living in Bangkok and they charge like 500 bucks for one treatment, which is insane. But uh, some places it's more common than others and in some places it's gonna be cheaper. Now, obviously, if it costs 500 bucks for one treatment in your area, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have a fuck you money or whatever. I would recommend you to just like maybe like move to a place and do it there. Uh, but really I wouldn't spend that much money on it, especially knowing the fact that the results may not be as permanent as advertised. So what to expect? After doing the laser hair removal, you're gonna still have some really thin hairs. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, 
you're still gonna have some hairs. You're still gonna be left with uh, thin blonde hairs on your arms or on your back. So it's something you have to be cool with. Perhaps you're gonna have to trim those hairs. However, those hairs, as you can see, I have a bunch of them on my arms, but you can barely see any, mostly because they are very thin and very light. So they don't bother me as much. Keep in mind, I was extremely hairy. I wish I had photos of how hairy I was in the past, but I was like a human gorilla. So going from that to having barely any hair, just like thin hairs on my upper body, I'm quite happy with the results and I would do it all over again if I had the choice. I hope I answered most things about this topic. Again, choosing the right machine is crucial is super important and the way you can do it is by just booking one appointment in say different salons that have different kinds of machines do the treatment and look at the results how much time did it take before the hair came back now i've tried so many different machines until i found this kind of russian machine that i'm going to show the photo of it on this video uh, and that machine that pulsates three times on the same spot was the only machine that showed me significant results. And therefore I searched for like other salons that are doing that cheaply. And then I am doing my hair removal there because it is faster and is more effective. Again, you gotta do the research in your own country, in your own area. Try doing just like one treatment on a specific small area perhaps and see the results and then compare that with the other machine that you can do it on another area for example for example you can do back with one machine and then chest with the other machine and see which machine gave you the best results and then you can improve upon that so i hope this video was helpful and gave you some insights on laser hair removal if you learned something new or perhaps you just liked it Really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. And anyways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.